Okay, here's a uh, quick tutorial on how to convert your Windows XNA game over to a uh, mono game for Android specifically. Um, I've got a game here that's really simple. All it does is uh, loads a, loads some content, uh, or it's got a texture, loads content in that texture, and draws a texture. Um, real quick, I'll just show you what it looks like. Real simple. And it's a really ugly guy on a pogo stick. Um, but then uh, we'll go ahead and add a new project. And to do this, you have to have Visual Studio Pro or Ultimate. You have to have something other than the free version to be able to use uh, MonoDroid with this. And after you install MonoDroid, of course, it's going to have these templates in here. Um, and I'm going to add a OpenGL Mono application. I'm going to call it Game Tutorial Mono. Android. Oh, hush. No, it doesn't. Just call it Android. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, add a project, existing project, because we're going to add the framework. And that's going to pull up here. And we're going to go ahead and build that real quick, just in case, just so we don't get too far. It builds fine. We're going to uh, go ahead and add a reference, and we want to add that project as a reference, the Mono Game Framework. And then uh, I just add the binary reference for the uh, the network, and that's going to be in your .NET somewhere, but it's in my recent, so I'm just going to grab that. And it's in the Mono Game folder. It's under uh, third party, I think. Um, and being as this is an open OpenGL, it already added the OpenTK. If you have a regular Mono Game, you should just add the OpenTK, which is, again, in... Uh, mono droids assemblies so those are references there um, we're gonna go ahead and delete the GL view don't need it and we're gonna delete any reference to open your GL view we're gonna delete these two methods don't need it um, we're gonna change activity to Android um, game activity And uh, we, of course, have to add the using um, Microsoft.xna.framework. Um, being the same namespace as uh, the regular XNA, it, it, it code goes back and forth between. That's the beauty of uh, mono, mono game. So we're going to go ahead and um, take this out. And we're going to go do, 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 game tutorial. Oops. Why didn't that work? Oh. Oh, we need to add uh, a couple, couple things first. We're gonna add a new folder called content, and that's where we're gonna put all our references. We're gonna add a new existing item. We're gonna go back up into the original game tutorial. I'm going to go to bin x86 debug content and there's going to be an XMB file in here that's generated from the content pipeline uh, whenever you run or build the original XNA project we're going to add that as a link um, you're going to do that for every piece of content you have in there make sure you keep the same file structure uh, so that it loads the same between the regular game and the Android game uh, we're going to add one more thing and that's going to be the original uh, game file and we're going to add that as a link as well so that uh, whenever we change one it changes both uh, we're going to do uh, game tutorial dot game dot activity equals this uh, if you want to learn more about this you got you kind of have to dig into android um, just kind of take it as as it is and uh, just use it for now uh, you can learn more about it later um, and then we want uh, var g equals uh, game tutorial dot game dot uh, oh I want a new that's what I want and then you want to do use uh, set content view g dot window and then uh, g dot run and that is everything you need in that activity uh, to run your normal Android application um, and to tell you the truth I think that's it go ahead and build this 
and it should build it's built fine I uh, got all your content got your references uh, you got your container and this is what's gonna run right away uh, your, this right here is all your Android settings that would be equivalent of your uh, 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 your XML file your manifest file in Android um, and you'll change that but that only changes stuff in Android um, if you want to change stuff in all games you're gonna open up your game game file and you're gonna change all those if you have more class files of course you'll add one want to add those two make sure you add them by reference other than that if you add more content later make sure you uh, build your main file once um, if you have trouble running things if you have too many things in a project go ahead and unload uh, a project um, and that kind of gets rid of the clutter so you can just run one at a time um, but that should be it you should be going I'm not gonna run it because the the emulator doesn't run very well with OpenGL but uh, you should be good to go uh, let me know if you have any questions or want any more tutorials.